This next workout is a duffel bag workout. Again, it's a circuit workout, and you're gonna go for one minute per exercise with a 10 second break in between. First, before we start the exercises, you're going to do a warm up. But let me just also add, when you're doing this circuit, try to do three complete sets with about a two minute break for a water break in between each circuit that you're gonna do. And again, it's not CrossFit, we're not trying to do speed with sloppy technique, okay? Oh wait, they say they do perfect technique on everything, I'm sorry. Get my drift? Okay, this is good technique, quality work all the way through. We're not trying to go for speed, we're trying to go for quality just for one minute per exercise. Now the warm up, you're gonna do four count jumping jacks for 15 reps. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two. After that, you're gonna do two count cherry pickers. Spread your legs, hands spread out over your top, and you're gonna cross over. So the count is basically one, 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 two, one, three. You're gonna do 10 reps of that. After that, you're gonna do free squats for 10 reps. And once you have completed that, now we're gonna get it, grab the duffel bag. The duffel bags can weigh anyway, anywhere between 25 or 50 pounds. Start out lighter if you're just starting out with this so you can get the techniques down properly. The first exercise is a sumo squat. With this particular exercise, you start in the upright position. You're gonna squat down, stand up, kick your right leg out, back in, squat, stand up, kick the other leg out. And you repeat this for one minute. Next exercise is gonna be mountain climbers. You draw your leg up and back and then the other leg up and back and you keep going for one minute. Again, on all these exercises, you're gonna get out of it what you put into it. The next exercise you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the duffel bag and you're gonna do a clean and press. So from the ground, the bag is on the ground. You're gonna clean it up to your chest Press it up over your head, bring it back to your chest. The next exercise is called the clean and press, squat and press. So from the ground, grabbing the handles on the side, you're gonna clean and squat, stand up, press back to the chest, back to the ground, and repeat, clean, squat, stand up, press back to the chest, back to the ground and repeat for one minute. The next exercise that you're gonna be doing is a duffel bag forward swing. You're gonna turn the duffel bag sideways, grabbing the side handles, start off with a bag between your legs, swing up and then back down to a squat, swing up, back down to a squat and you repeat for one minute. The next exercise is a clean and press. Turn the bag sideways, grabbing the side handles, starting on the ground. You're gonna clean it to the chest, overhead press, back to the chest, bag on the ground. Clean it, stand up straight press, back to the chest, back to the ground, and repeat. Next exercise is the eight count bodybuilder. Put your bag down, gently. For the eight count bodybuilder, you're gonna start in the upright position. Number one, you squat down and touch the ground. Two, kick your legs out. Three, go down for the push up. Four, come up for the push up. Five, legs apart. Six, legs together. Seven, back to the squat. And eight, stand up. So we're gonna do it at a cadence here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. A comp bodybuilder. Next one is get ups and squat jump. You're gonna lay on your back with a bag behind your head. The next exercise is called get ups with a squat jump. You start laying on your back in a prone position with the bag over your head. You're gonna grab the side handles. You're gonna thrust the bag using momentum 
to try to bring it forward to assist you into the squat position. At which time you're gonna stand up and you're gonna do a jump, bring it back to your chest, roll back down, put the bag down, and repeat. The bag. The next exercise we're gonna do is get ups and a squat jump. You start from a prone position with the bag up over your head, grab the side handles, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a crunch up to your knees using the bag's momentum to help you get into the squat position on your knees. And then you're gonna jump up and then go back to the starting position. So again, this, this exercise, you're gonna be using a lot of momentum. He's gonna do one more. The next exercise is a forward lunge, twist, and a press to each side. So he's gonna do a forward lunge, he's gonna to twist to the side, and then back to the other side, do a press, and then back up from the lunge. Now the other leg, twist side to side, overhead press, and stand up. Basically when you're in a lunge position and you're doing a twisting, it's gonna help your obliques and then an overhead press, and as you can see, it'll even help your balance after a while. And also, what it does is we're in the lunge position, it's a static hold, so it's multi-purpose. Our last exercise is an upright roll. From here, you're gonna stand up straight, grab the side handles, the two top handles, and you're gonna just Draw the weight up, you're gonna stand up straight, and you just go up and down with the weight, bending at the elbows, take the weight up to your chin if you can. Nice and controlled, and you do this for one minute. This is gonna be working your shoulders. So as you can see, all of the exercises in this particular workout will basically work your whole entire body, which is what we want. It's an all-around workout with a duffel bag.